We haven't had a direct hit in over a century. Florida hasn't even had time to recover from Helene, and now evacuation efforts are underway ahead of Hurricane Milton. Milton has a possibility of bringing close to twice the amount in st storm surge. Uh, hurricane force category three or four winds. In less than 33 hours, Melton intensified from a tropical storm with 65 mile per hour winds to the strongest hurricane on the planet this year, with winds around 180 miles per hour. Which is not just rapid intensification, but something that we call a extreme rapid intensification, but even it, it blows past that definition as well. Shaw Winkley with Climate Central says this phenomenon has become much more common in the last four decades. In fact, 44 of the last $63 billion hurricanes rapidly intensified, as did Beryl, Helene, and now Milton from just this season. They're getting stronger, they're getting more intense, they're getting wetter, and, uh, you know, they're they're causing bigger impacts. Winkley says man-made carbon pollution has created a rise in global water temperatures, with last year and this year being the warmest on record. This excess carbon pollution that we're putting into the atmosphere, that's also sinking into our oceans in excess, and that's what's holding these temperatures up. And warm oceans create the perfect conditions for powerful hurricanes. We know that that adds that extra fuel, kind of like the steroids for the storm, to become bigger. These are just numbers, but it's about more than data and the cost of these devastated communities. It's the human cost as well. This is literally catastrophic. And I can say without any dramatization whatsoever, if you choose to stay in one of those evacuation areas, you're going to die. Winkley says in the long term, we must do everything we can to lessen the impacts of oil and fossil fuels. And as these communities rebuild, they need to be built stronger and more resilient. We have to think about how we're building how we're living, and how we're really getting the messages around these extreme weather events. Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News. In your hometown. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.